What is going on everyone? Anthony Cofrancesco from Data Dive. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining the AI product brief. This is a great time-saving tool to analyze product detail pages and reviews, thousands of reviews all in one spot and get excellent insights about the competitors in this niche. This is a fantastic way to get ideas to develop your product and to create content around the products you're looking to sell. So in order to get started with the AI product brief, all you have to do is click these toggles on the left-hand side, and you can select up to 10 competitors for each niche. Nine, 10, right? I recommend choosing the sellers that are very strong. Sometimes you can look at the sellers by search volume, and then all you're gonna do is click Analyze Selected Competitors, it's usually going to take around 10 minutes for this report to generate. So what I recommend doing is creating a duplicate tab so that you can keep working and you can see the progress, how this is going in the background. So we're going to leave this AI product brief to run for a couple of minutes. When we're done, this is going to have analyzed all of the product detail pages and reviews for each of these 10 competitors. And it's going to show me exactly what do people like about the product? What do customers dislike about the product? Ways to improve the product, most important features of the product, and my favorite, customer avatars. So we're gonna let this run. We'll come back soon. So now that the analysis has been done, I can start crunching the numbers and actually modifying what shows up in this product brief. So first thing that we have are the attributes that are included in the listing. So you can see here, people are saying things like unique leaf shape design, uh, easy assembly, if it uh, fits for most family cats. If I see attributes that I think are particularly relevant that I wanna include in the product brief, I can click on this toggle here. So I think enough rest areas is good, easy assembly is good, fits for most family cats. And you can see that it's adding these down here. I can also add on any additional attributes that I'd like to show up later in my product brief, and you're going to see that area down at the bottom. The next section here is what the customer likes. So again, I can choose the areas that I think are most relevant. So we've got easy to assemble, sturdy, seems really important. These are kind of general. Cat loves it. I think it's important to show. And so again, I can choose the selected attributes. If I have any additional attributes that I want to add, I can put them in here and they'll show up later in my product brief. Next, we have what customers dislike about the product. This can be very helpful. And remember, this is all based on review data. This can be very helpful in getting an idea of ways to improve the product. So you can see fabric sheds, right? So maybe we have uh, fabric that's going to you know, not collect so much uh, dust and debris. Again, if there's things that are things that I want to reiterate, that I want to focus on, these negative attributes, I can put those here or I can add in additional negative attributes. Now for value added ideas, this is really helpful for product development. It's going to give you ideas based on everything that happened previously on ways that you can improve the product. So enhance stability, maybe we add a larger base onto this uh, product. Let's see, easy assembly. So maybe having clear instructions or maybe making the design in fact easier to assemble. Desired improvements for the product, right? Enhanced durability, how can we make this thing last longer? How can we optimize this for smaller space? If you're working, let's say people are using this inside of a smaller apartment. The last section here that I really love is the customer avatars. And so you can see here, we've got cat lover Lisa. It tells me a little bit about cat lover Lisa. We also have new cat owner, Natalie. And so I can read through these. What I like about the AI product brief is this is very helpful, not only from a product development standpoint, but also as I'm creating images for my image gallery and content for my listing. So I can look through ways to improve the product. I can look at what customers like and dislike, and I can say, hey, are these concepts that I can bring into my content, whether it's photos, whether it's A+, whether it's videos, and how can I reinforce each of these customer avatars to say, hey, when I'm 
showing that I've made a more sturdy cat tree. I want to reinforce this to senior cat owner Sarah. And maybe senior cat owner Sarah is worried about this thing falling over and causing her or him, Sarah, I guess would potentially be a her, to uh, you know have an injury from this cat tree falling on them. So once you've gone through, you've selected your important attributes, you've added any additional attributes, then you can click this button down here at the bottom to generate the product brief. And based on what you've included, what you've added, it's going to build a product brief. It usually doesn't take as long as generating the original product brief. So I'm just gonna sit here for a minute while this wraps up. All right, so now the product brief is completed. You can see it's copied all of the information and it's now in an easy to share format. I can edit this and I can also give some feedback to the AI about whether it was good or bad, as well as additional feedback here uh, for the product. So that's about everything we have for the product brief. I hope that you found this video to be helpful. Be sure to check out the other videos in the quick start guide and we'll see you in future videos. See you later. Yeah.